let's kick things off with a little box art nerd because honestly they're kind of nice boxes um really nice images on the front of the figures really nice big bold type with ultraman tiga here uh and then you got ultraman in there a silhouette same thing here but this is done in white at the band presto logo here which is a part of bandai if you didn't know uh the logo here heroes brave statue figure heroes brave statue figure that's the name of the this line and that looks pretty good i like them facing off here really nice design really really nice design work on this um on these boxes check them out i really love them i love this like cross cell of stuff here of images nice panels Big, bold images, logo on top. It says uh, Ultraman there, which is cool. Just legal stuff on the bottom. We saw that. And here they are, you know, going the opposite way on this side. Really cool. Really, really cool. I love all the zipatone here on them. Yeah, this is fantastic. Both boxes look really, really nice. Excellent job. But do the figures look nice? Well, yeah, I think they do, actually. Um, the sculpt is really well done. Solid figures if you've never had a band Presto. Really, really solid figures. Um, I do like the quality of them for this price point. It's very good. You know, I, I just think they're just solid, like literally and figuratively solid figures. Sculpt work is really nice. You can see all the folds and wrinkles in the suit which is fantastic see that all around little folds on the feet look pretty good the paint going up the legs the purple and the red look pretty nice do you dig it it i gotta admit to you guys uh tigo is one design that took me a while to to really get into but now i really like his design i think it's really well done the dorsal fin in the back looks cool the spine whatever you want to call it the lines here of the suit look well done the paint is nicely applied it's got some ultra butt there some good butt muscles <laughs> very very good i do have this like glob of paint right here though at first it looks like shadow but nope it's just like an excess blob of paint right there and right above that the uh red gets a little muddy with the purple right in here and it you know and down here it's also not clean so for whatever reason they struggled right across the middle there um, which kind of gets messed up a little bit in the folds here as well. But really nice uh, sculpt work there. Down the arm, good sculpt work there. Paint is clean on this side. Hands are sculpted pretty well. See the back side looks pretty good. And then on the back here, you get this part and this part all painted nicely. I like the gold they used within. The silver looks really well done. On this side, that's all good. Folds and man, the folds there are phenomenal. I love that. This fist is pretty nicely done, I gotta say. And then uh, the silver and gold, silver and gold, continue very well towards the front. That's pretty perfect. The color timer looks really good, done in a clear plastic, blue plastic. Very nicely done folds and the red up here towards the collarbone are really well done as well and then the head sculpt is excellent the eyes look good clear but you can see like white behind them as you know create some nice light piping as you can see and the hold the whole head sculpt done in silver is excellent ears look good the whole crest here, all these lines look really good. The back of his head looks awesome. You got the red going across his neck there. 
Really nice. Tiga, I think, looks really good. They just had some little, like, issue right down the middle. And this is a big blob of paint right there. Uh, you know, that's a no-doubter. I do feel like sanding this down a little bit and recoloring that silver, but I don't know if I want to mess it up further. You do have some seam lines at the shoulders here. It is what it is. But otherwise, yeah, this is very well done. The proportions are very nice. He's in a great pose, ready to fight. So I do dig it. I really do. And taking a look at it, at it in this glitter Tiga version, there's no glitter. Let's just call it out right now. There's no glitter. Um, what it is, though, is a nice translucent-y gold plastic, uh, which looks pretty good. It's a little bit pearlescent, but I wouldn't call it glitter at all. Um, but it is nice. I mean, it's really nice. I do like it. Color timer is done in white, and that stands out nicely. I think, as well as the eyes, same thing. Otherwise, that's it. You know, you're getting this translucent gold plastic, which does look good. It makes the sculpt look really nice when you see it without any, like, any, like, weird little mess-ups that I might have had with multi-type there. This does not have that, and it looks phenomenal. It's like champagne. Um, there is a nice like wash to it, not a wash, um, a, a, that's not what I meant at all. <laughs> there is a nice like sheen to it, which really helps. But again, it's not glitter. It's just the way they did it kind of mimics that a little bit. And I got to say, I feel like I do see a little bit of a coating throughout um, that gives it, it's not just a clear plastic, I don't think. There is some sort of coating over that. Now that I'm looking at it really, really close, both through the camera and not, I could like see it in certain parts. It looks a little more cloudy than other parts, which gives it a really great look. I don't know, there's something about it. I don't know the process here, but I do like it. Yeah, it's definitely not completely translucent. It's a little bit opaque, uh, and, you know, in certain spots it's more opaque than others, but it's really good nonetheless. I do like it. Um, I think it's a really cool variant to this Tiga. I'm glad I got them both because that's just fun. They look really, really cool together. For your size comparisons, here's Ultraman Tiga Multi-Type and Glitter Tiga with a bunch of figures you might have in your collection, including the only other Tiga I have in my collection thus far, and that's the Ultra Action Figure version. And now the uh, new SHF, Fancy SHF version, I'm just going to call it Fancy SHF version, uh, Shin, Sin Keiho, Shin Keiho, Seho, I, I'm butchering that completely, even though I've done reviews of those, I just can't remember, um, went for pre-order up in Japan, and I missed out, so I don't know if I'm gonna be getting it, uh, I hope I will, uh, we gotta see what the U.S. pre-orders are of that. It might be extremely limited. I don't know. We shall find out. But for now, I'm really, really glad to get these Bamprestos in the collection. And my final thoughts, I really like these pieces. I think they're really nice. Pose-wise, they look really good. The sculpts are excellent, honestly. Um, and the paint is pretty decent on uh, the multi-type figure, except for that one band across the chest. I don't know what's going on. There's little mess-ups all along uh, a line there, right across his chest, including one big glob of paint, um, which is a bummer. Otherwise, it is actually really good. There's no there's no mess-ups anywhere else, so that's pretty interesting. And the Glitter Tiga just looks really nice. Despite it not really being glitter, it does look very nice, and I do dig it. So, yeah, very nice pieces. I could definitely recommend these if you're on the fence, if uh, you didn't even know about them. 
I uh, go get them because they're pretty fun looking and uh, they're gonna look great on shelf. So there you go guys, that's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. And if you please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time, peace out, peace.